video there just the gray in the background this day started in some places very sunny but didn't end that way it seemed like wherever you were there was a 50 50 chance yes. you were getting good weather but uh, boy i'm excited for the weekend eric all right so some fall weather is moving in here we've had a whole month of september with a lot of humidity a lot of clouds this weekend a chance for some brighter skies that real true feel of autumn coming through it's 69 degrees right now the dew point in the 60s the wind out of the southwest now it's going to be fleeting overnight. Temperature is extremely mild right now, but we look off toward the west. Boy, that's a lot of blue. Starting to show up on the weather maps these days. We get a little bit closer to October and that cooler, drier air heading on in for the weekend. We've had a really potent cold front moving through. A lot of active weather along it. Some flooding in the southern plains, Oklahoma and Texas. Actually had a very strong tornado just outside of Ottawa this evening in the warmer air. And now that cooler, drier air pouring in behind it. The showers that have been traveling along it will be generally falling apart overnight. We'll get a few showers moving through before sunrise. And the winds will be gusty ahead of that front. They'll start to calm down as we head into the day tomorrow. So most of our rain showers between about 2 o'clock in the uh, middle of the night to about 6 a.m. as we approach 8 o'clock, the last of that front moving offshore from the Cape and the islands. One thing we will watch, kind of a fly in the ointment and an otherwise really nice weekend, a lot of high clouds, both Saturday and likely into Sunday as well, and cirrus clouds, so you get more of a milky sky than that bright September blue that you'd really expect behind a front like this. I think we'll be seeing a lot of that high cloud cover throughout the course of the weekend. In terms of our humidity, though, we haven't had a stretch like this the entire month. The dew points in the 40s for three straight days before they start to move up, albeit briefly, during the middle of next week. So for this weekend, again, it might not be as blue as possible, but we'll be near 70 both days. The humidity will be low. If you're heading out to the orchards, do a little decorating, grabbing some mums for the yard, I think it'll be excellent weather to do that. And the winds will be calming down tomorrow after a breezy morning, those winds being out of the northwest. And that cooler air coming in will keep towns across southern New Hampshire and central Massachusetts in the 60s all day tomorrow, lower 70s from Boston down to the south and east. If you're heading to the beach, it's really pretty doable. It'll be around 70 degrees, and after the morning wind dies, down pretty comfortable stuff tomorrow night as the revs take on the chicago fire at gillette's dry and cool lower 60s as the match begins and 50s shortly thereafter the equinox tomorrow night be a great backyard bonfire night as the winds are calmer 9 54 the equinox takes place and we'll wake up to the 40s on sunday morning it sounds cold because the month has been so warm but that's actually exactly on target for this time of the year and highs rebound to around 70 on sunday afternoon with some 60s across the higher terrain in central mass now the foliage running about a week late in many spots but we're starting to get our first few pops of color across the higher terrain and the cooler nights this weekend into the start of next week are really going to start to get things going we'll notice a more wholesale change next week but this weekend highs in the 60s around the lakes region and those nights will dip back into the 30s in many spots for the cape and the islands again that filtered sun a lot of high clouds near 70 both tomorrow and Sunday. We're going to start really cool next week. Low 60s on Monday is it. And then some unsettled weather returns. By Tuesday afternoon, the showers are moving in. It looks very unsettled Wednesday, perhaps into Thursday and Friday as well. So it has been an uncharacteristically cloudy September for us, but we're getting some bright skies for the weekend. And after an unsettled week, we might clear out again next weekend. So I suppose that's a pattern we could definitely deal with. Guys, back to you. Absolutely. Long Good overdue. Weekends. Eric, thanks.